Hi, it's Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm here with another user request from Sierra who would like to remodel this room, but first she wants to remove all the furniture from the room and start from a nice clean image. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing this. It's a very good step to do. A lot of times uh, people will start remodeling right away. If you spend a few minutes either physically cleaning up the room or at least digitally cleaning up the room, a lot of times you can get better results. Um, so I'm going to just show you the first step of how to go about removing the furniture. From there, you could obviously go in and remodel and add new furniture and do all sorts of things. But I'm going to show you how to remove furniture. So I'm going to jump into the interior editor. You can do this the other way uh, with these tools, but we're going to be doing a lot of edits. So the interior editor allows you to do repeated edits much more quickly. Uh, I'm going to load the image from my Google Drive. I believe I put it on my drive. There it is. And I'm going to be doing all this work with basically what's called the re replace tool. The replace tool basically you can replace anything in the room with something else. So that could be, you know, I could replace nothing with a chair. I could replace a chair with nothing. I can replace a chair with a couch. I could literally do anything. Um, so it's a very flexible tool, but it's the tool you're amazingly going to use to remove stuff. Um, so the way to go about doing this, you could try to do this all at once. Um, and basically remove everything, but you don't have to. You can remove one object at a time. You can remove multiple objects at a time. It's really up to you. So I'm going to just remove some of this stuff and show you how this might work. Let's try to get rid of this stuff. Now, this is the process called masking, and I don't want to remove that floor down there. So the, the AI is only allowed to change the areas which we've, quote, masked. Now I do need to see, let me zoom in for you so you can see it here, areas where there's reflections on the floor you want to be careful because the AI will not want to remove an object if it sees the reflection of that object through the floor um, or anywhere. So AI can be a little tricky in that fashion so you want to make sure you get the shadows and things like that otherwise it'll be very resistant to removing things. Um, so I'm just going to start there try to remove all this furniture. So the next step after you quote mask the image, you're going to describe what you want to replace it with. In this case, I'm going to say a nice, clean, empty room. Now, obviously, there's some other stuff over here, but this prompt is what encourages the AI to get towards this result. So I think by putting this prompt in, it's going to encourage the AI to put nothing in the place that we've asked it to. And that worked fairly well. So before and after, it removed all the stuff that we asked it to. Um, and again, each time you hit render, it's going to give you different images. So, you know, this one put some stuff there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could accept this image, and then you could repeat the process to remove this. This one actually is perfect. It removed all the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And now we're going to repeat this process for other things. So select, again, the Replace tool. Click Next. Go over here, and let's start cleaning up this stuff. I don't know if you wanted to get rid of the artwork on the walls, but let's go ahead and try that. So cover everything. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. And let me just clean up a couple. I'm not sure what that is on the wall over here, but I'm going to clean that up too. I'm going to keep the plant. I don't know if you wanted to clean this area back here. Uh, if you do, you can do this too. I'm going to keep this area unmasked just so it sees a little bit of the wall so it knows where the wall is. Uh, but this is how you do this process. You just one at a time go in here and you know, again, I'm just going to use the same prompt as before. Um, we want a nice, clean, empty room. You could do the same to remove the rug, by the way. Um, so you can just keep doing this process again and again. You can also do the same process to add new furniture. So if you want to see, you know, if I had a couch here, just mask that area and then ask it for a nice couch. You can even describe the couch, a black leather couch, a white leather couch, you know. 
You can do all sorts of different things. You can even give it reference images for you know couches that you like. Um, but this is a pretty good result. And again, there's three, so you can pick the one that's your favorite. I think this one's probably the best. And then you can see our progress from start to end. We just did that in two individual actions. Remove that stuff and then remove this stuff. Again, you could do a third, remove the rug. Once you're done, that's when you can start your project. You can start adding furniture in, you can do remodels, you can explore painting, you can do all sorts of things. And then when you're done with your final image, I would encourage you to go over here to one of the upscalers and upscale the image to give the best final result. And then you can take that result for inspiration or to give it to a contractor as something you want to shoot for. So hopefully that helps. I will post this image to the forums. Thank you for your post and let us know if you have any more requests.